What's going on? I'm joined today by Joe Tomlinson from Football Daily and Sky Sports' very own Saturday Social. Joe is also the World Influencer of the Year for 2019. <laughs> Joe, thanks for joining us today. Mate. No worries. How I'm definitely doing? not the World Influencer <laughs> of the Year. That one went to Troops, so, you know, robbed. All right, well, we're going to get into some NBA 2K action today. Um, you ever played 2K before? I've never played you, NBA 2K. Have I've you never... had um, any basketball experience before? Uh, very little, very little. I'm trying to get more into it this year though, because yeah. obviously it's on Sky Sports, so it's easy to watch. But I'm a FIFA guy, I'm a football okay. fan, so okay. I'm hoping it's not too different. We'll see if the skills transfer. We're going to start with picking a team. Is there a team that you support or have any allegiance to? Do you know what? I don't have a team okay. at all. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe today we can pick a team for me. Or, some, okay, or you can you can tell show. me who I should be supporting. Who, so you're a big football fan, obviously. Yeah. Who's your football team? Man United. Man United. So what kind of qualities are you looking for in an NBA franchise? If you had to give me three <sighs> points to summarise Man United, how would you summarise them? Uh, <laughs> well, at the moment, yep. a, a fall in power yep. uh, with a lot of money Okay. that is kind of trying to rebuild with young players. Okay, um, my initial my initial thoughts on that okay. would be the LA Lakers because they were a fallen power, you know, ever since... It's like when Fergie left, Man United became terrible. Yeah. When Kobe kind of left, the Lakers also became... Well, they were kind of bad for us last year, but they became terrible. Obviously, now they're really good this year because they have rebuilt. Okay. But they started the rebuild last year with LeBron and a bunch of young guys. Yeah. And now, obviously, they've attracted Anthony Davis, who's one of the best players in the world. So I guess the Lakers are kind of like what Man United could be if they signed another superstar to go alongside Pogba. Well, we've tried enough of them, so let's uh, let's not be signing any more superstars. So either way. you're going to go with the Lakers? Am I going to have to play with the Lakers, though? They've got a good team I'm on thinking this. thinking potentially, like the team looks average, other than I LeBron, obviously, who's in 97. I also think, a fallen superpower, having watched the first week of the NBA season, yeah. the Warriors were destroying it. You know the Warriors were destroying yeah. Everyone in the world knows that. Five, but, five championship finals in a row, whatever, wasn't it? Yeah, this season, though, they are absolutely terrible. So... You could also be the Warriors. They Why are, are they so bad this year? Um, well, Kevin Durant left. He went to Brooklyn. Okay. And he's one of their best players. And Clay Thompson is injured, so he's not playing for the whole year. Okay. So they kind of. So they've got injuries and transfer issues. Yeah. So I think the Warriors could be also a fair shout to uh, go with Man United. Let's get into this. It's triangle to jump, by the way, for the tip off. Triangle to jump. Yeah. Okay. So triangle to jump. Time when he throws then... the ball up. That's a great start, isn't it? So you said you're trying to get into the NBA more this season. Yeah. What experience do you have with basketball in the world of the NBA prior to this? Uh, pretty much none. I played a bit at school, as you have to, as like you're forced to do. Yeah. Um, but other than that, very, very little. Uh, I was a terrible basketball player because I'm only five foot eleven, and you have to be tall, don't you? And all the big, and I was not five foot eleven when I was at school either. I was about five foot one. Ah. I was, I was ah, a midget. Was a sticky one still. Um, um, you got the speed though. Surely you might be able to get up and down the court quick, like. Mm, and I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, because of how like the English school system is, I always felt like rugby and cricket and football are much more sort of like applicable to to my life. I don't know. I just never got into basketball from a young age, and then I felt like it's too late to get into it when you're older. No such thing, man. It's never too late. So I'm going to the States for the KSI Logan Paul fight. Okay. So the Lakers the team to watch out there or Well this season the Lakers or the Clippers, like traditionally the Clippers were kind of the joke of LA. But this year, um, they've got a really good team. They've got Kawhi Leonard who won the uh, NBA championship with Toronto. I don't yeah. know if you saw that earlier yeah, in the summer. With the Raptors, they beat yep. the Golden State Warriors. Didn't yep, they? there you go. Um so he shout now plays Nelk. for the Clippers. Yeah, shout out to Nelk Boys. But um yeah, so I would I would say go to either or because they both got great players on both teams now. It's in the same arena where they're having the boxing match. Oh it's really? In, it's in, in the Staples, Staples Center. Center so. Yeah, because I was watching, um, I was reading about the odds and stuff of the of this season's winners, and it is the Clippers are favourites. They're yeah. the Lakers. So has there ever been a sort of LA versus LA final? I think this is really the first year that the Clippers have been good. Which is crazy, right? Because okay. like growing up, the Clippers were like the kind of the joke of everyone. You know, like Tottenham are kind of like the joke in the Premier League. Like yeah. they're, they're the bottle jobs. Um, the Clippers couldn't even be bottle jobs because they would never get to the finals. So this is kind of their first real shot, right, at winning an NBA title. Um, 
So it's the first year that the LA rivalry has been. What is this? How do you put it in the basket, man? <laughs> you hold down close? square. You hold down square. But that's you, all you gotta do. You just gotta hold it down. This is yeah. this is. I'm so bad at this game, man. I know you're a sneaker guy. I have yep. to see wearing the new Air Maxes that come out or not. Have you ever been into any basketball sneakers? Ever had any Jordans or anything? Do you know what? I don't really suit the Jordan shoe, so I haven't actually worn Jordan shoes. I've bought them in the past to resell. So like the most recent pair was the uh, Concords in 2018. They're like reimagined ones where mm -hmm. they put 45 on the back. Mm -hmm. um, so I bought them. I bought them just to flip. Not gonna lie. Yeah. But um, those. There was the Pata pair as well, wasn't there? I didn't buy them, but you're a big. You, you can see from the t-shirt that you're wearing. You're a big pair of, kind of fan of what they do. They do some great collabs. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I know some of the guys that work there, which is the reason that I wear quite a lot of their stuff. But the shoes just don't suit me. That high top style doesn't suit me. I think you yeah. have to be like a bigger bloke to wear them, and I'm quite slight. So they suit the likes of Horner from yeah. BYB. You know, got a bit. Of, <laughs> chunk in the trunk, but yes, well Fair intercepted. Play. Fair play. Um, uh, so I want to I want to hear your thoughts on the Raheem Sterling becoming the first football player to have a sponsorship from Jordan Brand rather than Nike. Well, I'm not overly surprised. I think he's probably the most iconic British player at the moment in the game, um, yeah. both for his footballing ability and his off the field stuff, uh, which has just been incredible, hasn't it? He's kind of a trailblazer for for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so I'm not overly surprised. I think he deserves it. He's a better footballer than people give him credit for. I think a lot of people sort of see Raheem um, off the field as he's doing all these amazing things, but just forget how unbelievable he is on the field. Like he's probably one of the top five footballers in the world right now. Yeah. So I'm not overly surprised. I think that the deal they did with PSG for the Champions League kits and Champions League yep. training kits and all the sort of hoodies and stuff. That was probably their first like thought of, uh, we could really hammer this market. What did you make of that collab? Because I've seen loads of people wearing that, you know, yeah. like, and not even basketball fans, they're more football fans. I've got are. one of the basketball PSG shirts. Yeah. Uh, um, but I, w I wouldn't say that it's like my favorite thing I've seen yeah. in football, but it's definitely up there. Some of the kits are outrageous. The white and gold one in particular, when Kylian Mbappe's wearing that, you know he's going to tear the field up. Yeah. For but, real. Yeah, I'm not surprised it's Raheem. I think he deserves it, and I hope he's getting paid an absolute mint for it. What is this? Sorry, what the hell is this? It's a half-time show for the fans. You know, like when you go to a football game and during half-time you're just kind of bored because there's nothing no, going on. No, no. This is a half-time show for the fans. It's a family experience at a basketball game, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit like the NFL, isn't it? They had, yeah. When I went to the one at Twickenham, I know it was at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, actually. They had AJ Tracy playing the halftime show. Oh, for real? Um, which is the best one I've seen. Some of them can be absolute rubbish, though. You are very good at shooting threes. I, I mean, don't think it doesn't feel like it's particularly yet. hard yet. Um, oh, you I, just dribble straight through me. This is this is the problem. I'm My players can't get a ball off you. I'm yet to miss a shot, which is... This is like playing as Man City. You can't get the ball off them. <laughs> if there was someone to do like a, a half-time performance at the Champions League final, yeah, who who would you get to do it? Well, I went to the 2016 one uh, between Juventus and Madrid in Cardiff, um, and who performed there? It was, I think it might have been the Black Eyed Peas. You know, that's a bit random. Which was really weird at the time. There you go. There yeah, you, there break you go. the hoop. <laughs> uh, I think it's the Black Eyed Peas. I'd maybe correct me with that if I'm wrong. But equally, I don't know. Do you know what? Have you? Maybe we just have um, Kanye doing Jesus is King. Oh, are you a fan of that then? No, nah, it's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think he's dropped anything good since before Jesus. But um, he's actually bringing out a Yeezy basketball sneaker. I've seen Have it. Have you seen the pictures? I've seen it. I've what do seen you think? It. Now that is an ugly shoe. And it's also completely reflective as well. It's so an ugly shoe. I but then I think know. some of his I I think there's very few Yeezys that are nice, in my opinion. You're not so much. Like I've the... got the Wave Runners, which yeah. the original Wave Runners, which are the by far the best Yeezys in my opinion. He's tied the game. I don't know how this has happened, uh, but either way. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, you, can, uh, you were saying. Um, yeah, runners. I'm not the biggest fan of the Yeezys in general. I like the Wave Runners, but that's okay. about it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've had the 300s, but not the biggest fan of them. Buckets. Okay. 
Joe's getting into it. He's taking the lead for hey, the first time in the game. That's Clay Thompson. Never mind. Um, I should have known that probably. All right, so you're going to be locked in Sky Sports this season to watch yeah. the NBA that goes on. Are you now going to consider yourself a Golden State fan? Is that the team you're adopting? I feel like, it, is that a glory hunter move? Because if it is, I'm absolutely on board. <laughs> uh, I can't say so much a glory hunter move this year because the, the three games that they've played, they've looked absolutely terrible. Um, but is it five but, finals in a row? Yeah. Am I going to get abused for, for saying that? Oh, I think... Picking an NBA team without like a direct link is a very tough thing to do. Um, you know, like most people have like, oh, I've got like an uncle who lives here, or I like the design. Um, but I, I don't think you get too much stick anymore because I think Golden State, their era is over now. If you picked LA Lakers or LA Clippers, yeah. you'd get a lot of stick, most definitely. Okay. But I think we could we could make you a Golden State Warriors fan. All right, we'll make me a Golden State Warriors fan. If they are the most like Manchester United in the NBA, I'll take them. So we're almost at the fourth quarter, at the end of the fourth quarter now. I'm up by four. I'm going to sink these two free throws. Um, so tell the fans at home where they can check out your stuff, a bit about what you do and where to find you. Uh, you can follow me, my, uh, you can follow me on social media, uh, <laughs> at Joe Tomlinson, or watch Saturday Social, 9.30 till 10.30. Sky Sports Premier League, Sky Sports Main Event Ooh. sometimes when we get the chance. Um, Football Daily as well. I'm on most days, so you can go and check that out. Just type Football Daily into YouTube. That's pretty much it. Oh, and VYB as well. I do make the occasional appearance on there, much like Dave Horner. Well worth watching.